How to import custom weapons in Blender. Step 1. Go to the Nova Skin website and then click on Gallery and scroll down until you find any sword. I'm going to click on the Iron Sword and go inside the Iron Sword Gallery. Then download this texture or any other texture you want. Step 2. Open up Blender, delete everything and then click on Shift A to create a new plane. Press on Numpad 7 to go to Top View or use this arrow to access the Top View. Then go to the Shading tab and then create a new material for the plane. Go to Edit Preferences and enable the Node Wrangler add-on, if you don't have it enabled. Then go back to the Shader Editor, click on the Principled BSD of Node and then click on Ctrl T. Now you have three new nodes. Use the Image Texture node to open the new image you just downloaded. Change the texture from Linear to Closest. Now we have this texture imported. Go to Solid View, click on this arrow, select Texture option and also turn off the Outline and Specular Lighting. Now we can see our sword properly. Then inside the viewport, click on Edit and select the whole mesh by pressing A. Then right click on your mouse and then click on Subdivide and type 31 in the number of cuts. Since our image is size is 32 by 32, we need to add 31 subdivisions. Then click on 3 on your keyboard and go to face selection mode or click here to go to face selection. Then while you are in the top view, select all the outside faces you don't need. You can press C and then use the left click to select all the faces you don't need. If you accidentally select the face that you need, then you can click on the scroll wheel on your mouse and it will deselect the face. Now delete all the outside faces by clicking X and delete faces. Now we're left with this mesh. So press A to select every face and then click on E to extrude it up. Then click on F3 and type Edge Split and then apply by pressing Enter. Then go to UV Editing Panel and before you do anything, select all the faces here by clicking A. Then go up here, click this menu and change this to Individual Origins. Now scale down all the individual faces slightly and then you should be left with the sword with clean materials on it. Also, if you want to change your sword's origin point so that it rotates properly, then click on Options and select Origins and move the origin point down here using G and then using control to snap the movement. And that's it. Also, you can play around with the principled BSDF node and turn down the specular. And also, if you want, you can turn up the metallic, but that's not required. And that's how you import custom Minecraft weapons in Blender. Mm -hmm.